welcome to Prince Edward Island, where we are officially on hurricane watch. So welcome to the next adventure. Yeah, this adventure is on Prince Edward Island. This is one of the maritime provinces of Eastern Canada. We are so excited to be here. The plan for this week was, and hopefully still is, to just do a lot of photography to chase the lighthouses of Prince Edward Island. This is one of the most concentrated areas of lighthouses anywhere in North America. What we don't know though is what this storm is gonna do. Right now, the models are showing that it is tracking right our direction. We're not too far from Nova Scotia, um, which might get more of the brunt of the storm. They don't know if it's still gonna be a hurricane by the time it gets here. So we're gonna be keeping our eyes on it. We do expect it's gonna affect our plans. Uh, we're not too sure how much we're gonna to have to hunker down, but come along for this adventure. We're hoping that it's gonna be so beautiful and that we're gonna to get to see another slice of God's beautiful creation. So let's get going. Welcome to the channel. So for those of you that don't know me, my name is Joshua Wikes and I'm a, an adventure and landscape photographer. And my wife Lavinia and our dog Tilly and I are traveling all over the US and Canada, living full time in our converted sprinter van, doing the van life thing. You know, we uh, just recently crossed over the five month mark, which is crazy to think. And right now we're on the East Coast, as I mentioned in Prince Edward Island. You know, my goal and hope with this, this channel is really just to showcase what we're getting up to and what we're seeing, and really just to hope to inspire you all to get out and to explore, to see God's creation maybe in a new way. You know, there's a lot of how-to videos out there on van life, a lot of the just kind of the day-to-day -day grind and what it takes to do van life and so on and so forth. That's not really what this channel is about. I do try to weave some of that in here and there when I can, but if that's really what you're looking for, this channel probably isn't for you, but I do hope that you still stick around and enjoy the videos that I'm putting out there about once a week. So here's the deal for this week. You know, we're on Prince Edward Island and this island is known, well, it's known for a lot of things, but one of the things it's known for is its lighthouses. This is, as I mentioned earlier, one of the highest concentrations of lighthouses anywhere in North America. There's like 63 lighthouses on the island. You know, we're not gonna get to see them all, but our hope is to see quite a few. So our plan is just to see as much of the island as we can and to show you a little bit of what we're getting up to. I'm not gonna give like a play-by-play, stop-by-stop overview of, of where we're going and what we're doing and how we get there. Um, but I am gonna just showcase a little bit of what we're seeing. So come along and let's go see Prince Edward Island. A 
a quick hurricane update. You know, we have been tracking it and looking at the updates as they come out. There's still a lot of uncertainty as to where it's actually going to go. The models have it projected to be just a little bit to the west and south of us in terms of where the, uh, the, the center of the storm is going to hit. We're obviously still going to be impacted quite a bit. It looks like it's going to reach our area in about two days time. The rain though is already starting to show up later this afternoon. So we're going to just keep our eyes on it. Uh, they're still projecting it could be a category one hurricane by the time it gets here with really high winds and quite a bit of rain. So we'll see. Uh, we have adjusted our itinerary a little bit to try to shove as much into the, the these first couple of days as we could because uh, we expect it's going to be uh, pretty bad. We're going to probably just stay put here. It doesn't look like it's, uh, they're asking anyone to, to evacuate or do anything like that. But again, these things can change pretty quickly. So we're going to just keep our eye on it. Well, the rain has definitely come in. We have retreated to Charlottetown, which is the main city of Prince Edward Island. We did try to go boondocking down a, uh, down a dirt road near a beach, uh, but it was really muddy and the rain is continuing to fall. So despite having four wheel drive, we decided to, to turn back and just come back to the city. So we'll sleep here tonight. Um, it looks like the rain, the rain may die down overnight and give us a little bit of a reprieve tomorrow, but we'll see the uh, forecast just keeps changing on us. So just another quick update on the storm. I guess you could call today the calm before the storm. They're still forecasting it's gonna to hit tomorrow. Where we are right now is we're on the easternmost point of Prince Edward Island. And where the storm is gonna hit is probably a little bit further west and to the south of us near Nova Scotia and New Brunswick. They're still expecting it to be a hurricane, probably just a category one uh, by the time it gets up here, but then it'll quickly probably downgrade to a tropical storm. Here at Prince Edward Island, they're still expecting a lot of rain, a lot of wind. So we are excited that we have blue skies today, I'm trying to take advantage of it, make the most of it, especially after yesterday afternoon where we got quite a bit of rain. So. Anyways, we're going to just keep exploring and hope that tomorrow we don't have to hunker down too much, but we are expecting it to be pretty windy and pretty rainy.
Well, this is our final update. Today is the, the day of the storm, at least the brunt of it. We definitely got a lot of rain overnight. I haven't seen the, uh, the updates on how much, but now we're just dealing with the wind. It's definitely pretty windy at times. You know, we're still under a tropical storm warning. The hurricane uh, did hit uh, further over, like I was expecting and what we've been reading over near Nova Scotia and New Brunswick. It sounds like they got hit a lot harder than Prince Edward Island. A lot of power was knocked out over uh, in those areas, but Surprisingly today, we've actually had some pockets of sun. Uh, we're still doing a little bit of exploring, but we're kind of just uh, parked now and just kind of taking in some of the sights and, and just watching the weather kind of coming and going. We hope you've enjoyed coming along with us as we explored Prince Edward Island. We really enjoyed our time here. What a beautiful place, you know, just the lighthouses, the island. We were surprised by a lot of old, historic, beautiful churches as we were driving along. And look, here's the sun. We're off to Nova Scotia next. We're really excited about that. We're hoping there's not too much damage from the storm, but that's it for now. We'll see you on the road next time and may God bless you. Well, just a, uh, another quick update on the storm. I would guess you could call today the calm before the storm. 